Minamata Bay. For centuries, we fished her clean waters, swam with our children. We took the life-giving ocean for granted. But then we poured mercury into her, and our Minamata Bay and all of those who called her home were poisoned. Today we honor the people whom we poisoned with mercury, and we offer this promise. You are not forgotten. We will work tirelessly to make sure others do not suffer the way you have. The Minamata Convention on Mercury is the newest of a proud tradition of treaties that are addressing our planet's greatest challenges. Chemicals, climate, biodiversity loss, corruption, social injustice. When humans are presented with great challenges, we are born to restore balance and predictability. Together, these conventions have made the world better. But on this day, we stand on the shores of Minamata Bay to begin the journey to make Mercury history. Let us therefore fulfill the justified expectations of the peoples of the world to ensure a better quality of life for all. The time for action is here now. Then, a history-making moment. History offers us perspective, a chance to see how far we've come. It helps us chart the future. I declare open the United Nations Conference on the Human Environment. What happened in Minamata, Japan, nearly 60 years ago, isn't the only reason why we're here today. But it was our wake-up call. What happened in Minamata many years ago was, uh, was a catastrophe for, for humankind. And, and what we have now is not a new problem, it's a new solution. The global community has agreed that this needs to be tackled at the global level through a legally binding instrument in order to have the impact that we are looking for for the future of this planet, for the public health and for the environment. Before we can rid the planet of Mercury, we need to understand where and how it finds its way into our water, our food supply and, ultimately, us. More than 50 years after Minamata disease was discovered, unhealthy levels of mercury can be found in every corner of the planet. And they're growing at an alarming rate. Today, we are emitting more and more mercury than ever before. Mercury is in the air we breathe, our oceans and rivers. It's in our food. Power plants are burning record amounts of coal that emit mercury. Mercury is a global pollutant. Once emitted into the atmosphere, it can travel around the globe. Industrial manufacturing of plastics and cement release tons of mercury each year. And thousands of artisanal gold mines still use mercury to extract their gold. We don't want Minamata sprouting up in the Philippines, in Indonesia, in Africa and Latin America. By naming the convention, the Minamata Convention on Mercury, what we are saying is never again. The GEF is on a mission to understand the challenges and the solutions ahead. They will head below ground and into the mines and to remote mountain villages, to power and cement plants and industrial sites. They will go to the front lines to see the people who are still using mercury and those who found a way to sustain their livelihoods without it. What we have here is an opportunity to act. Mercury is not simply a poisoning issue. At the end of the day, it's a development issue. There is a call to action and the time to act is now. The Minamata Convention will make a difference, but it will take a global effort. Make Mercury History, premiering at COP1 